After the massive tragedy, the entire continent wondered why what happened happened, and why Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison declined aid to fight fires months before what was reported to be a horrible fire season. Morrison, instead of giving an answer, pondered, maybe this is what climate change is. No, no, he suddenly said. Fire's not climate. <laughs> <laughs> Aspiring Jeffrey Epstein and UT President Greg Fenvis <laughs> recently held a forum to discuss the continued employment of sexual predators at UT. I wish that was a headline for the Travis student, not the Daily Texan. Uh, anyways, at least something good came out of the forum when Fenvis promised to consider thinking about maybe, possibly, maybe investigating the sexual predators. When asked why Chester the molester and Scott Lasser the woman harasser got hired in the first place, Fenvis said he's simply confused by the student body's call for more diverse staff. If only we couldn't teach Fenvis. Hell, I didn't even be there to rip up the state of it. Yeah, state of the union address. And other sad news, since we come back from winter break. Since <laughs> we come back from winter break, we've noticed a real lack of, well, anything on Guadalupe Street. It seems like every business on Guadalupe Street dead on staff from existence at every turn. Even the Duncan is leaving soon, which means America runs on nothing. The world was recently rocked by the death of the semi-beloved Mr. Peanut. His corpse in the Kool-Aid man had an unholy love child, now known as Baby Nut. Baby Nut. <laughs> Last time Baby Nut happened, I was watching cats. Yeah. Between Baby Nut, Baby Groot, and Baby Yoda, it appears like Baby things are really popular right now. If that's the case, maybe Steven will finally get laid. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of cats, the Oscar awards are almost upon us, and oh boy, there are some interesting films this year. Movies like Joker in 1917 may have received high praise from men over 55. Rodney <laughs> Skywalker inspired many Christmas dinner arguments, and Cats was, it was something. <laughs> Although high praise for his portrayal of that New York City fast-talking jeweler, Adam Sandler was snubbed this year for his performance as Howard Ratner in Uncut Gems. It's reported that, in retaliation for lack of creative recognition from the Academy, Sandler has greenlit production on Jack and Jill 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> I know nobody really cares about the award shows anymore. I think it'd be safe to bring up last week's Grammy Awards and how badly Billie Eilish didn't want to win at all. <laughs> oh, why would you want to win something called a Grammy? Something like a nickname for southern white children call their grandmoms before they put them in the empowerment homes. <laughs> I should call my grandma Grandma. That's bad. Uh, <laughs> This past month, a student at Texas A&M University gained notoriety for potentially being the first reported case of coronavirus in the state of Texas. Thankfully, the CDC has declared the student tested negative for the virus. How badly did you have to screw up a class to fake having the modern-day black plague? <laughs> what exam has been out that he absolutely could not go for? Major essay? Not play. It's kind of ridiculous to create a health scare like that. Super Bowl 54 was this past Sunday, which saw the Kansas City Chiefs defeat the San Francisco 49ers Saudi Arabia in an emotionally charged game. <laughs> But let's get real. The only reason any of us watched was the halftime show. Headlined by Shakira, Shakira, and Jennifer Lopez. Officially, the 49ers may have lost and the Chiefs may have won. The real loser here is Pitbull, who was nowhere to be found in the performance. And the real winner was Jeb Bush, big supporter of the performing arts, apparently. In other news, Britain finally Brexited the European Union, which, by the way, is a bad damn time. They've been, so, they've been fighting over this for so long, I started to wonder if they were my parents. <laughs> I'm personally glad they did this. There's some poetic justice having Britain forced to stay on the same lines as us, even though now no, they don't have EU passports. Hey. In domestic drama, Trump was impeached, and then just yesterday we found out that's all that's going to come of it. After months of a room full of people de debating on whether or not witnesses are important or not for a trial, including a <laughs> witness who wrote a book on the crime, <laughs> decided it was so last decade and chucked the idea out of the bin. Just like the integrity of our political system. <laughs> Just like how this week, the Iowa caucus happened. The caucus that happened in Iowa. The one that's still going. The one that never ends. Just that one. <laughs> <laughs> so first, Pete moved to judge if you didn't know. Uh, Claims he won with absolutely zero results in. Then, 65% of the results are released. And apparently, he's right. But Bernie Sanders, if you aren't caught up, <laughs> won the popular vote. This being said, both received the same number of delegates. Then, today at 8.42 in the morning, New York Times sent me an email saying it's also been called into question. Meanwhile, only 97% of the vote has been reported, and sites like NBC haven't even declared a winner. So if you're 
if you understand what's going on right now, please explain to me after the show. <laughs> uh, in other news, the world's oldest rhino passed away. I'd say it's sad, but dude, it's the world's oldest rhino. <laughs> Literally, his only job is to die. <laughs> it's not like rhinos aren't important or anything. I've seen a rhino that was just standing around doing nothing. No! You haven't! <laughs> the free one is the animal world! The only thing they have value is our horse, and we're not even allowed to take those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that uh, world's own oldest rhino is dead. Now his horn can be used to cure my hangovers. <laughs> While I cure my current hangover, enjoy watching what gave me that hangover in the first place.